sexual harassment defined, unwelcome sexual advances, you know, welcome slash consensual is not sexual harassment, generally speaking. So let's say you have a situation where you're a manufacturer, for example, and there's two people out on the floor, male and female, and they go back and forth, they each give it to the other, you know, asking each other about their sex lives, about their spouses or girlfriends. That's not gonna be that's not gonna be sexual harassment, but you know, at some point it could possibly cross the line. So someone says something that offends the other, which goes over and above what they've typically been talking about. So it may convert to unwelcome. Um, the other issue, again, sexual favors is another element or another uh, possibility. And then other verbal physical conduct of a sexual nature, which I think everyone understands, you know, touching someone or sending folks cards and, and things along those lines. Um, the motive or the desire is irrelevant. Um, so you can commit sexual harassment even if, even if you don't intend to. You know, I've seen these cases where it's just innocuous comments. Oh, you look really great today. You look great in that dress, something like that. Maybe that makes someone feel uncomfortable. But you don't see a lot of those because they're really a hard case to make unless there's something involved with that that maybe that person, maybe that person's job is affected <coughs> in some way via, you know, a reduction in salary or anything like that. But for the most part, it's got to be a little more than that. Is this sort of relates to it with a hostile work environment? Because the factors that you're considering is the frequency of the conduct, how offensive it is, is it, and the severity and pervasiveness. So, you know, were these comments made on an ongoing basis, or was it just an isolated comments? Isolated comments in the workplace are not going to be actionable. So, if you have a comment that someone says, "Well, you're, you know, you're really moving slow today." And someone takes that as meaning some this person's over 60 and they take that as an issue of uh, age discrimination if it's just an isolated comment they're not going to get anywhere with that but if that's ongoing if that's frequent then it, it may add up to a problem how offensive is it and again that's a sliding scale you know what's offensive to a nun may not be what's offensive to someone else and the sliding scale is the severity and the pervasiveness. So if it's severe, I mean, if you have a physical touching, um, something along those lines, one instance is gonna be enough to bring an actionable claim of harassment.